Hi, in this video I thought we'd take a look at how we can link two or more slider packs together. So the slider pack is a really useful control for storing data and it looks quite nice in certain contexts on a GUI as well. Now let's add two of these. Oops, I put that one inside the other, there we go. So now we've got two slider packs. Let's grab references to each of these. Now with some controls, you'll have an option to link it to another control somewhere over here in the property editor. But slider packs are quite unique because they don't have a single value. Each slider in the slider pack can be accessed independently. If we look at the slider pack API, we have functions such as get slider value at, and that refers to a particular slider, and set slider at index, and that again refers to one of the sliders, and you can refer to it by its index and set its value. Now, in order to link two slider packs together, we have to use an intermediate um, data storage. Now, the two slider packs could be part of the same interface like we have here, or they could be on two separate script interfaces, and I'll show you that in just a moment. But what we have to do is we have to tell the slider pack that it needs to store its data in a variable that the other slider pack can also access. So let's do that. So first we have to create the data object for the slider packs to access. So we'll call it uh, slider pack data engine dot create slider pack data and then we have to link this object to each slider pack so we'll say slider pack one and if we look at the api browser we can see we have a function here called refer to data so we just call that function on our slider pack and it expects a slider pack data object and that's what we've called our object in this case so we can just leave it at that and we need to do the same for the second one and I'll hit compile and now these two slider packs are linked so they're sharing data through this intermediate object here they don't have data of their own it's, it's all stored in this slider pack data object and you can do this with multiple slider packs so we'll add another slider pack but we'll do it on a different script so let's add a second script. I will make the interface a little higher. Just so we have something to work with. And let's add a slider pack here. And now we want to link it to that data control. So let's grab a reference. And we'll say slider pack one dot refer to data slider pack data. Now we'll, I'm going to hit compile here and we're going to get an error. And it says API call with undefined parameter zero. So that's saying that it can't find slider pack data. So let's go back to our main interface script. So we declared slider pack data as a constant in our interface script, but our other script can't see this script's constants. This is a private variable that is only available within this script. So what we have to do is make it a global variable. So all we do is we type global. So now it's a global variable rather than being a variable that only belongs to the interface script. So something I like to do with global variables, just to make it clear throughout the script that this is a global variable, I like to put G and then underscore at the beginning of the name. So if you see that in any of my scripts, it means it's a global variable. So we'll just put that everywhere else where this variable is used. And we'll go to the other script as well and change that to have the same name. Now I've got to compile the interface script first and that will register the global variable. And now we'll compile this script. 
So we'll compile that. And now it compiles just fine. It can see the data the other uh, slider packs are using. So let's pull up the interface here. So now we can see the interface of our, our main interface script. And then here's our secondary script. And we can see that all the slider packs are linked together. So that's how to link slider packs together. Pretty simple. Just remember to use the slider pack data object. If you like this video and you'd like to see more, please click the like and subscribe button on YouTube. If you want to see more of my content and get updates sooner, check out my Patreon page. There's a link in the description. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.